Welcome to the pod. So what is, the, what, how do you think of the Shekinah? Like how does, the, is it in that, is it in the overall sense? I know like on Shabbat, right? The Shekinah comes down, right? At the table, no? Yeah. 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 So we know it when it's there, right? When you have a beautiful Shabbat. Yeah, with the candle lighting. Yeah, but how else do you think of the Shekinah? In, in life, in your if experience. If you're married, it's definitely your wife. There's no question. Okay, so she embodies it. 100%. Okay. No she question. Channels it, yeah. she, she channels it, yeah. She channels it. Through day, what? Through her intuition? That's why, that's why they cover the hair. It's, okay. it's, wow. it's also intuition. It's also a relationship. You can tell by her waiting. Put it this way. She keeps you grounded? The Shekinah's grounded? It's not only that. It's like, let's say the, you, your, your wife's vibe. It's a micro, it's an expression of how Hashem is dealing with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the way your if, wife if, reacts to you yeah. is what is like Hashem basically reacting. If to she, you. if you, if she has, <laughs> if and you're on the hot foot, on the hot seat right now, yeah, you and, better do tshuva. And do everyone know? that's a bit spiritual attuned will tell you honestly, like it's like that. It's a hundred percent. Okay, if you're in tuned, yeah. If you, if you're just not paying attention, yeah. then you can't tell the shechina anyway in your life. But, but if you're in tune, you'll see that. Okay, so.